hello everyone so welcome in the new video so in this video we will going to see independent watchdog timer module for this stm32 bit series microcontroller so independent watchdog timer is the module which is used to detect and resolve the malfunction due to software failures it trigger a reset sequence when it is not refreshed within expected time window so there is a certain time window and if microcontroller will fail to refresh this then it will automatically reset the whole system so it will resolve the malfunction due to software failures now there is a independent clock for this module so in some of the cases 32 kilohertz independent clock is there in some of the cases even 40 kilohertz independent clock is there and this is one of the advantage because it remain active even if the main clock fails so we have to configure this module so for this we will use this circuit again we are using sap part number stm32 f103 c6 and here you can see one led is connected with pa0 port okay so this is the circuit we will use and now let us open this stm32 cube ide first of all we will create new project now here again i have to select the part number so our part number is 10336 now here you have to give project name i am giving name click on the finish will generate the project so i will write a logic for this circuit so what i will do initially i will uh, write a logic to turn on this led okay then this watchdog timer will start initialize and then we have to feed the value within certain time limit so if we will able to feed, feed the value or you can say if we will able to refresh the watchdog timer within certain time limit then the, this led will remain on but if we will fail then we'll, the, the whole system will reset and you can observe this by simply observing this led so let us write the code so initially you can see this is pin out view so as in our circuit one led is with is there with pa0 so we have to configure this as an output now second thing is we have to provide this crystal rcc and finally we have to activate this independent watchdog timer now here you can see some value you have to feed clocking so here in clocking you can see iwdt counter clock prescaler and reload count value so this prescaler is actually this value 4 into 2 raised to pr so this is the prescaler okay so this is the prescaler and this is the reload value okay so now let us uh, consider this equation and let us consider that uh, we want 20 millisecond this time okay so it means that we have to refresh the watchdog timer after 20 millisecond within 20 millisecond or you can say right if we will fail to refresh it then it will simply reset the whole system so now for 20 millisecond you have to calculate this rl okay this value rl and now we have this PR means this prescaler value if the prescaler value is 4 it means that the PR is equal to 0 okay prescaler value is 4 it means PR is equal to 0 now you can put this 0 into PR and you can see 4 into 2 raised to 0 so it will be 4 
if prescaler value is 8 it means pr is equal to 1 okay so you can put pr is equal to 1 and you can see 4 into 2 so first of all we will set this value to 8 and now we will put this means this equation will be same 4 into 2 because we are we have this uh, prescaler value is it's equal to 8 it means pr is equal to 1 and now we will calculate this value and now we have to check so this is the clock frequency of the watchdog timer so you have to check in the clock configuration so here you can see for our circuit this clock frequency is actually 40 kilohertz you can see okay so you have to change this 32 into 40000 so now let us calculate this value using calculator okay so now i will put time 20 into 40000 divided by 8000 okay so 100 minus 1 so 99 so now this load rl is equal to 99 it means that in my configuration i have to set this value of reload count to 99 so now it will set the delay of 20 millisecond so let us generate the code now open the source file main dot t and now in this you can see this is the code now for our circuit i will write some logic before initializing the count a watchdog timer right so what i will do i will simply generate some delay of 100 or 1000 okay then i will simply write hal gpio write pin okay so this is how i can write the value on specific pin now our pin is fixed it is gpio a and the pin number is gpio underscore pin underscore zero and on zero value first of all i will write zero so it will turn off the led then I will repeat this logic. So after one second, or let us say 500 millisecond, 1000 millisecond, 500 millisecond, uh, LED will become on. And again, I will add some delay. And then watchdog timer will be initialized using this. Okay. Now in while one, what I will do. I will again generate some delay let us say delay is of 50 millisecond and then I will reload this or I will refresh the watchdog timer okay so for that let us check the driver first of all this is the uh, APIs and here in this API I have to check for the refresh okay so this is the function using which i can refresh the watchdog timer so i will simply write this and as a handler you have to write this mm, yes handler of the watchdog timer which is at iwdg so i have to write this okay so by writing this you can refresh the watchdog timer and here you can see after initializing within 50 millisecond continuously it will refresh this and because of this it will not reset the system so as far as the last instruction our led will remain on so let us build the project so it will check for any possible error you can see zero error so now we have to release the now we need a hex file right so we have to enable this option post build 
convert hex file apply and again we will release it so it will generate hexadecimal file now in release folder i have to copy the path because i have to load this file in my created circuit so now i'm copying this and in my circuit i will simply load this so this is the latest created file you can see and now if i will run it so you just observe initially led is off then after some delay led will be in on condition and now you can see in infinite loop we are continuously refreshing the watchdog timer independent watchdog timer and that's why this led is remain on now let us generate more delay okay instead of 20 instead of 15 now my delay is 35 so obviously after initializing watchdog timer it will not refresh this within 20 milliseconds which is our time delay for this watchdog timer and because of this it will reset this system so let us check so it will generate updated hex file for our this 35 millisecond of delay and now i will run this code so hex file will be the same you can check it should be latest hex file and then run it so initially led is off now LED is on. Now 500 millisecond of delay. One minute. I have to check. Oh yes, reload count is four zero nine five, right? I think the code is generated without saving this. So let us change to 99. Okay, and just generate the hex file. Now I will run it. Now it now this should be perfect. Off, on, and you can see again off right because it is resetting the system on again off because again it is resetting the system and this is because of we are not able to refresh the watch of timer within certain time limit and now let us change this again so instead of the delay of 35 again i will change it to 15 save it and now again i will run now this sign it should remain on because we are refreshing the watchdog timer with 50 millisecond of delay which is less than 20 so off on and now it should remain on and you can see right so this happened because we are refreshing the watchdog timer within 20 millisecond of delay and 20 millisecond we have calculated using this equation so this is what for today's video if you like my work then please like my videos and subscribe my youtube channel thanks a lot